In this video, we'll examine another type of connection in Notion, link previews, and use them to enhance otherwise static documentation. In many ways, link previews are the suave and sophisticated older sibling of embeds. They're built on top of Notion's Application Programming Interface, or API. This requires authentication and are therefore a more controlled way of bringing data into your Notion workspace. All Slack and most GitHub content you have wouldn't be public on the web. So this is a great way to bring in those tools you use often when the information needs to stay secure. In addition, link previews update more regularly and without any prompt from the user, whereas embeds often require you to refresh the page to see the latest and greatest. There are dozens of connections with link previews available in Notion. Some of our favorites include Slack, Jira, Figma, Dropbox, GitHub, OneDrive, and data tools like Grid and Amplitude. Setting up link previews in Notion is just like setting up embeds. When you paste a URL from an external app that has a link preview option, you'll be prompted with options including paste as mention or paste as preview. Let's talk about these. Link mentions will look like any other page in Notion. You'll see the name of the external file, but not much else. Clicking on it would take the user away from Notion and to the third-party site. This is great when you need to include a doc or a file as more of a footnote and not the centerpiece of your page. The second option, previews, are the bread and butter of this Notion feature. Pasting data like this allows you to see source information right inside Notion. The end result of this is similar to an embed. What's different is that the first time you paste a link from a new site, you'll be prompted to authorize it. Authenticating an app in Notion means that you give Notion permission to access data in your account. Unlike embeds, that means that you can paste link previews of things that are not public on the web and are instead private to you or your team. Importantly, once you've authenticated content to be shared in Notion, anyone with access to that Notion page can view the preview. For this reason, workspace owners have the ability to universally turn off connection access in their settings menu for better management and control of their team's content and data. Back to the fun stuff. Use previews to give your readers a view of the content itself, like in the case of something visual. Use mentions when that detail isn't needed like multiple Figma files in a row. You can view a list of all link preview options at notion.so slash connections, and we're adding more all the time. With that, let's return to our landing page redesign project plan and add some link previews to further enhance this project plan as the single source of truth for all landing page happenings. In the overview section, we can provide additional context by creating a link preview for the kickoff message from Slack. This lets people reading this doc easily navigate to Slack in order to view any conversations about the project. If any edits are made to the Slack message, that would be reflected in this Notion link preview as well. Similarly, I could add a link preview to the kickoff meeting Zoom link or a link preview to a recording in Zoom. The next step section is a great place for link previews, specifically connecting Notion to external project management tools. Let's say, for example, that one team is using Asana and another team is using GitHub. We can display updates from both external tools in Notion. No more app switching required. To create this link preview, we'll simply paste in this link from Asana, select Paste as Preview, and there you have it. We can do the same with GitHub issues and tasks. The GitHub preview will display the name of the task, its status, and the last PR submitted. This is a great way for non-technical folks to keep up with their technical counterparts without having to create a new GitHub account and navigate an unfamiliar platform. That's it for now. Look at how much more valuable and polished this doc is compared to when we first started. That's the power of connecting tools through Notion. <laughs>